Hello and welcome to another video of Belgian Diecast Restorations. My name is Johan and today we're going to Germany with the Mercedes-Benz Binz Ambulance. This 160 scale model is one of the famous V-series by the German brand Siku. It was produced between 1970 and 1974. As you can see this model is very play-worn. The casting itself is in very good condition but the paint has flaked and the car is missing one of its headlights. There are no third-party parts available for Ziku's V-Series models, so in this case we have to rely on a parts car to donate the headlights. Also one of the front wheels is a bit askew, so it needs to be addressed also. Notice the very detailed Mercedes wheels with tires and the clear windscreen indicating that this is the first edition. The newer editions of this model came with a yellow tinted window piece and the standard Ziku wheels. This ambulance also still has a stretcher inside, which is quite unique, so I feel it's important to restore this one in its original state as much as possible. I won't be doing any detailing or customizing on this model. The model is held by two rivets in the base. Oops. Now that the base has made a complete orbit around the earth, I can remove the five doors, the interior, the window piece and the blue beacon. The front lights are just held in place with a pack in a hole, but they are very tight. I carefully pry out the one remaining front light with a scalpel, taking care not to damage it. As the light finally comes out, it slips between my fingers and jumps off the table. I did not include my one hour search for this tiny little thing on the garage floor. The important part is that I found it in the end. The plastic parts depart for the ultrasonic cleaner. As suspected, the front axle is slightly bent, so this needs to be replaced. The axles on this model are not crimped. With a bit of force you can pull the wheels straight off. The axle is 1.5 mm, so I cut a new 1.5 mm axle in length and save it for assembly later.
Now it's time to strip the paint. I put the body and the doors in a jar of boiling water and add 2 tablespoons of caustic soda. After 15 minutes the paint has come off and I brush away the last remnants with a toothbrush in lukewarm water. I use the wire brush to remove the most stubborn flecks of paint and to polish the model for painting. I also polish the base until it's shiny again. I drill pilot holes in the front and rear rivets using a 1.5mm drill and some masking tape to mark the depth on the drill. Especially the rear rivet post is quite shallow and I don't want to drill through the model. I tap a 2mm screw thread in the front rivet post. In the rear rivet post my drill didn't go straight and tapping this hole would destroy the rivet. I test fit the screw and leave it in the body to avoid paint getting into the screw hole. I use isopropyl alcohol to remove any grease or dirt from the body and the doors. The model and the doors are primed with white Tamiya primer. The window unit cleaned up very nice in the ultrasonic cleaner, but there are some scratches on the windscreen and the side windows. I first use 800 grit sandpaper to get rid of the scratches, then I grade to 1200 grit and 2000 grit to get a smooth and even surface. I use plastic polisher for car headlights to polish up the window piece until it looks brand new again.
Now it's time to address the smallest pieces. The roof beacon is sanded and polished. Even after thorough polish, there are still some dull parts. The best solution here is to touch it up with Tamiya Clear Blue. As I said, I sourced a spare headlight from another car. They are the same color but both are dull and scratched after years of play wear. I use the same procedure as with the window piece and polish them until they look shiny and transparent again. Then I give the headlights a bath in floor polish to seal the last scratches. I sprayed the body and the doors with two coats of Tamiya TS7 Racing White. This is a creamy white color which was frequently used on older race cars and although an ambulance is not a race car, it seems like they were painted in the same color. Anyway, it's very close to the original creamy white. After the color coat has dried, the paint job is sealed with Motip Clear Gloss Automotive Varnish. I fix the wheels to the new axle with a small drop of super glue as the new axles don't have the ridges that kept the wheels locked in place. Now it's time to put the model back together again. I drop the roof beacon in place and the window piece. Then come the doors and the interior which holds it all in place. The pegs of the headlights slide into the holes. Once they are in, it's very difficult to get them out again.
The red cross on the hood is a laser printed decal. Laser printed decals don't need any fixation with gloss coat since the toner is not water based and will not run, unlike inkjet decals. However, I discovered that yellow laser toner will bleed out from the decal when you spray it with clear coat. And since the red cross consists of some yellow toner, I only attach the decal after spraying the clear coat. Black and blue laser decals can be clear coated without any problems if you need a layer of extra protection. I'm quite happy with how this restoration turned out. Some of the doors turned out a bit lighter than the body of the car, but it's not too obvious. That ambulance looks factory fresh again, ready to pick up a patient. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell. More restorations are coming up. See you in the next video.